All right, so now we want to use the table to sketch a graph. So it looks like our X is miles driven and our Y is gallons of gas remaining. So miles driven and then this is gallons of gas left in our tank or remaining. I'll say left. Eh, I'll go with remaining. That's what it says on the table. We'll stick with that. All right, now I got to figure out how to scale these. So I'm going to start with the x-axis. We go from 0 to 360. So the length of it is 360 units. And how many spots are there? I'm going to divide by how many spots are there. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spots. So if there's 15 spots and we have to go from 0 to 360, I like to divide by 15 and see what we get. So 360 divided by 15 is 24. That means each tick mark has to be at least 24 if I want to get to the 360. I can make them worth even more. I don't like to make them 24. It's, it shouldn't be like, I don't think it should be a weird number like that. Usually we go up by fives or tens or hundreds. So I can make each one count for more. So I could say make it count for 30 or I can make each one count for 50 and I'll still have enough left. So I'm going to go with 30 just because it's like it goes up by 60s. So every two spots will be nice, neat number. It'll like 30 goes into 60 twice. So I like the 30. That should get it done. So that means I start at zero and I go up by 30s. And I don't necessarily like to write every one, but I will. So we have 30, 60, uh, 90 then 120, then 150. So like I said, maybe I don't have to write every single one. Maybe I'll just do every one, like I'll just show this every 60. So we have like 60, then we have 120, then we go up another 60 should be 180, and then it should be 240, and then it should be 300, and then it should be 360. So keep in mind, I'm going up 30 each time. I'm just not gonna show that 30 there. I'm not going to show the 90. You could skip over them just to, to give yourself more room to read the bottom of the graph better. So I think that's a good tip, all right? Uh, gallons of gas remaining on the y-axis. So those are going to go from zero, 12 to 0. So its length is 12, and again, there's going to be 15 spots. So 12 divided by 15, I get 0 0.8. That means each tick mark has to be at least 0 0.8. I can make it larger. I can go up by ones. I can go up by fives. I can go up by twos. I'm going to go up by one. I think one's going to work nicely here. So I'm just going to go up by ones. And again, I don't want to show every single one. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I just mark the fifth one in this case. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I do that to make it look a little cleaner. You could put every single one if you want. You could go like one, two, three. It's fine by me. All right, so now we got to start plotting these points. So the first point is zero miles driven, 12 gallons of gas. So zero miles driven, 12 gallons of gas is right there. That's a zero, 12. Then it's going to be 60 miles driven is going to be 10 gallons of gas because we have 60 and 10. And then we have 120 and 8. So 120, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6, 7, 8. All right, this should look like a uh, line. So something is wrong here. Let's take a look at what's going on. So we had 0, 12. That's correct. And then 60, 10. Ah, this one. I put it at 30, 10. All right, I had it here on the 30. So it's 60, 10. That's better. It should look like a straight line. Okay. And then 186. We can see this pattern here. If it has to be a line, I can kind of finish it off. And then 360, zero. Whoops, I kind of missed. Yikes, let's do that again. So there's our line. B, 
Be sure to label your X and Y and scale them appropriately. I did do that.